how do you how do you define a brand pers- personality? I mean, I, I don't mean like a dictionary definition. I mean, like if you're a company and you don't feel you have one, what do you do? How do you sit down with a blank piece of paper and then end up with a brand personality? Well, first off, you have to accept that that's important, right? I mean, many brands have hidden their personality under a rock, right? Because they they don't want with personality comes the ability to attract people and the risk of detracting people, right? So some people may say, wait, James is a little too rock star for me. We're not gonna associate with him, right? Like he's a little too big of a personality. We want something a little bit more serene and contained and mellow. And so if you wanna play the middle, then you're never going to get that piece of paper out and express a personality. And many brands will never be loved and they'll never be hated. They'll just be tolerated, right? I mean, there's a sense of nothingness there. So figuring out that you need a personality to attract people is the first step. And then secondarily, personalities have attracted people for for time immemorial. I mean, we attract people based on personality. So it's understanding the range of personalities that brands might express. And the classic strategy, I mean, the most simple and classic strategy is to do brand archetype work where you'll take an archetype, one of those those characters from history, the hero, the villain, the, the average guy, whatever it might be, and you look at your brand through the lens of those various personalities and say, what's realistic for me? I mean, for you, James, if you just try to play the average guy or the naive, it would not play well with your brand, right? So you've got to play kind of more of a maverick or other elements of your brand in order to to know who you are and kind of be authentic to your basic DNA. So one of it is to, you know, get your piece of paper out and say, you know, what, what can you credibly be? What is relevant to your, to your market? What is unique to you and what is likely to be durable? Because a personality isn't something you should put on every morning differently. What's going to be something that's sustainably attractive to audiences over time. 